I'm something of the geek culture quiz at Haderach. I'm in all places at once. Video games, comics, cult film, wrestling, board games. I'm a man of many lonely, lonely loves. And of course, what kind of nerd would I be without loving Doctor Who? A concept-driven sci-fi epic of a mythological super Brit pottering around space, being clever and seeing interesting things. And most importantly, travelling through time. Time travel is great, right? Being able to cut through the accumulated lies of history to see the truth of the past. Or, you know, being a tourist in a strange world of the future. For years, despite science saying, no, stop it, you can't, people have tried to prove once and for all that time travel exists. The theories range from compelling to stupid and are often both. I'm Adam from WhatCulture.com and here are 10 bizarre theories that prove time travel exists. Number 10, the tiny watch. Let's start weird. In 2008, there was mass reporting that during a Chinese archaeological expedition, a 400-year-old tomb of Si King from the Ming Dynasty, which, as most people will know, was an absolute lad of a dynasty, Hongwu Emperor, hashtag squad goals. Inside this believed to be undisturbed house of dirt and dead fellas, the archaeologists found something very strange a tiny gold watch, time frozen at 6 past 10, with the word Swiss engraved on the back. The story circulated the net like wildfire, many taking it as proof that time travellers visited us hundreds of years ago, which makes it all the more of a shame that the photos that sparked the story in the first place were digitally created hoaxes. Number 9, the Mobley Jourdain incident, from tiny gold watches to two middle-aged ladies dicking around in 18th century Paris. In 1901, the two English academics, Charlotte Anne Mobley and Eleanor Jourdain, who we can agree are absolute biscuits, visited Paris and went looking for the Petit Trianon, which is part of the grounds of the Palace of Versailles. According to a book they published recounting their experiences, the two women got lost and instead of turning left, turned right and ended up 120 years in the past. They saw farmers in smelly clothes, an old farmhouse, and also hung out with cake-enjoying underclass dis missing Marie Antoinette, because why not chuck a celebrity in there? When the book was first published, it became a bestseller, held up as proof of time slips, but it was also heavily criticised as being the nonsense work of fevered hallucinatory minds. Number 8, The Scottish Time Slip. While Mobley and Jourdain accidentally stumbled into the past, Victor Goddard flew into the future. Like the time-travelling ladies, Goddard was a smart cookie, flying planes for the RAF in World War I and World War II, reading engineering at Cambridge, and becoming Director of Intelligence at the Air Ministry. So, a reliable mind, then. Well, does that perception change when we tell you that he firmly believed all his life that in 1935 he briefly flew into the future. Yep, in a plane. So it's 1935 and Goddard left Drem Airfield near Edinburgh to fly home. Then he ran into trouble with the weather and lost his bearings, so he decided to fly back to Drem and start again fresh. As he approached the airfield this time, the rain around him turned into a bright sunny day and below him he saw a newly renovated airfield complete with men rushing around in blue uniforms that he'd never seen before and a bunch of planes painted yellow. He flew away without landing and four years later the Air Force changed all their uniforms to blue and began painting their planes yellow. A moment of clairvoyance from Goddard or, like the ladies before him, him, a brief stumble into a different time. Or a stroke, also possible. Number seven, the Philadelphia Experiment. The rule of thumb is if it's stupid, the American military have tried to research it. Mind control, psychic warfare, warrior robots, and you can bet their last coin they've had a go at time travel. Well, Allegedly. The Philadelphia Experiment, also known by the delightful codename Project Rainbow, so a lot of disputed and disreputable sources go, was based around Einstein's unified field theory, which very, very, very simply opines that if light could be bent, then so could space-time, which would render possible the idea of an invisible time machine thing. In 1943, as part of Project Rainbow, the Navy allegedly made a ship, the USS Eldridge, disappear by sending it 10 seconds into the past. Right. Number six, the Montauk Project. Well, in for a stupid penny, in for a stupid pound. This is another conspiracy theory about the US government experimenting with time travel, this time in a series of salty secret projects in Montauk in Long Island. The theory was started by Preston Nichols, an American author who claims to have unlocked repressed secret memories in his own mind of his part in the time travel experiments that were somehow brainwashed out of him. He made a music video about one of these experiments which show him meeting himself from the future and also eating a lot of cheese. While it's easy to dismiss this as the delusions or lies of one man, Nichols also claimed the government were doing mind control studies at Long Island Air Force Base using psychotropic drugs, and that actually did happen with Project MK Ultra, so who knows? 
Number five, the Hadron Collider. You've heard of the Large Hadron Collider, right? It's the thing that scaremongering journos have been trying to convince you will destroy the whole world using super quick atoms. Well, the Collider, or Atom Smasher as we prefer to call it, has been turned on a bunch of times, and rather than the world ending, they've discovered the perennially elusive Higgs boson particle. According to one theory put forward by scientists Tom Wheeler and Tree Man Ho, I hope I got your names right, the Higgs boson could create another particle called the Higgs singlet, which is like a wrestler's singlet, except not at all like that. The singlet would be able to jump into a fifth dimension and move back and forwards through time. It's all theory and won't result in hoverboards anytime soon, but still, science. Number four, the iPhone footage. One of the main things that disproves time travel as a notion is that if the technology had been invented in the future, then someone would have come to visit us by now. Unless that they've been doing it in secret because of risks of paradoxes. People have been looking for evidence of these secret time travelers for years, and for a time, they found one. In a behind the scenes piece of footage bundled with the DVD release of Charlie Chaplin's The Circus, footage appears to show a woman talking into a mobile phone. Oh my gee, Tim Trivial confirmed, said the internet. And then historians pointed out that maybe she could have been listening to one of these, an early model of a hearing aid. You know, or she's a reptilian equal possibility. Number three, the Nicolas Cage theory. No list is complete without a cameo from tenured professor of crazy at Hollywood University, Nicolas Cage. Here is a picture of Nicolas Cage. Ah, the serene lunacy hiding behind his eyes, the screaming skull under the skin. And here is a picture of an 1870 Tennessee gentleman that was discovered in 2011. The resemblance is uncanny. What's more, check out this artist's rendering of Maximiliano I, 19th century emperor of Mexico also Cage. Now, people have called Nicolas Cage an unaging vampire, but that's obviously not true. We've seen him age before our very eyes. Now, the only thing that makes sense is that Nicolas Cage has been all through time, damn it. He's the first time traveller, probably because, I don't know, he can afford it. Number two, John Titor. Now, once the idea of secret time travellers hit the internet, it was only a matter of, well, time before someone claimed to be one. Step forward, John Titor. In the relatively early days of internet forums, the early noughties, stories of John Titor began to do the rounds. He was a fellow from the year 2036, told people that future America was broken into five smaller regions, each devastated by nuclear war, and that most of the world's powers were destroyed. He also helpfully provided plans of his time machine. I mean, no one has successfully made his time machine yet, and none of his predictions have come true, but does that mean it's all a giant hoax? Yes! All the way yes! Number one, the internet holds the key. For years, scientists Robert Nemiroff and Teresa Wilson from Michigan Technological University had developed a method of scanning the internet for references to things being made before they actually happened. For example, one of their test phrases is Pope Francis. Considering that he is the first of his name, anyone using these exact words before that Pope was announced would therefore be a time traveler, right? I mean, so far, rounding up, they found zero time travellers, but have stated that they might still be out there, but be, quote, good at covering their tracks. Hmm. And that's our list. Did we miss any out? Tell us about it in the comments, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and you can even follow me on Twitter here. I'm Adam from whatculture.com, and I'll see you soon, or yesterday, or something. Time travel.